Hey guys, my name is Kaylee and I am going to show you day three craft for three, four, and five year olds in first and second grade. So when you get your baggie, you're going to pull out this little green piece of paper. It says day three. On the back of it, it has your instructions. Also in your baggie, you're going to have a foam rectangle. You're going to have a long strip of silver tape and a short strip of silver tape. And you are going to have five jewels. So, you're going to lay the foam rectangle down. Then you're going to peel the back off of the silver tape. All right, and then starting at the top of the rectangle, you're going to place it and you're going to lay it flat. Just like this. Okay, now you're going to take this one and you're going to line it up right here. So you're going to peel off the back. All right, so you're going to take this small piece of silver tape and you're going to line it up in the middle to make your cross. Then you're going to take your jewels, your five jewels, and you're going to decorate your cross however you would like. And there's your cross. And then with the help of a parent, you can trim this if you would like. And there you go, there's your day three craft. I'm Nicole. I'm going to be showing you the Washer Clean Cross for third, fourth, and fifth grade. And this is to remind us that Jesus has washed all of our sins away on the cross. So let's look at our bag. First of all, day three. In it, you will have five washers and a strip of wire. So the first thing you're going to do is lay out your washers in the shape of a cross. You have one up top and then two side by side, and then put two more down at the bottom. Next, you'll take your wire, if it's in a straight line, just fold it in half. And then you'll take your folded side and put it in that top washer, leaving a little loop at the top and then wrap it around, okay? Now, we'll add one of these side washers. Kind of push it off to the side, wrap your wire. Okay, now our other side. And wrap it. So right now we have kind of a, a triangle there. So we'll keep building. All right, so starting to go down the bottom and then just wrap your wire just to hold everything in tight. And one more. And if you have extra wire, just kind of wrap it up and around and tuck it in behind there. And then you're left with your washer clean cross. 